Hey, thanks for checking out my Instagram building blocks project. So I created this to help you easily put text on your Instagram stories. Now this was specifically designed for 1920 by 1080 sequences, so just keep that in mind. Now what I have here are 10 Mogart files, as well as a vertical overlay so you can easily position your videos in Premiere, and an export preset, so once you get everything set, you don't even have to worry about those export settings, everything's ready to go. So when you use this product, you should be able to quickly and easily get those videos over to Instagram Stories. Now this was designed to work with the Roboto font. All the positioning of the backgrounds are for the Roboto font. While it works with other fonts, I suggest you try it with this first and then go from there. Simply Google Roboto, it's easy to find this. You can download it, it's a Google font, so it's not hard to find, but I'll provide the link in the installation instructions. Okay, so once you get that font installed, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab that overlay, which is a simple PNG. Grab that, bring that into Premiere Pro. Now let me show you how we can use this. So here I have a five second clip of this flag waving and I wanna put this on Instagram Stories. So I'm gonna go over here, grab this overlay, simply drag it on top of the clip, and now we can see our vertical format here. So this is what will be exported. So we want to position our video to perfectly fit within these standards. And I've created margins here, so you want to keep any really important text information out of these areas. So to move my video, I'm going to simply select it here, go to the Effect Controls panel. If you don't see that, go to Window, Effect Controls. And now I'm going to go over to the position and grab the X attribute and simply shift that over until I get my flag right where I want it. It's right about there. Now if we play that, we can see that's a good position. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring one of my motion graphic templates in. So first we want to open up the Essential Graphics panel. So go to Window, select Essential Graphics, and go to the Browse tab. And then to bring in one of these templates, you'll see there's an Install Motion Graphics Template button here. Click that. And now I'm going to grab one of these and open. And now we can see that I have my motion graphics template here. I can see a little bit of a preview. Now I'm going to grab this, drag it straight over into my timeline. Now, right away you're going to notice these on the ends of the clip, we have these white areas. So that is where our animation is taking place. So we have uh, basic opacity and vertical movement animations here. Now, what this is doing is this is a responsive duration. So as I change the duration of the clip, the animation is staying intact. So those keyframes aren't moving, so you won't have to change anything. So you can quickly change the duration. I created these templates all inside of Premiere Pro. So the reason I did that is so you can customize everything in Premiere Pro. You don't need After Effects to do anything. And you can do almost everything with the basic selection tool. So let me show you. I can just reach out here and grab my text with the selection tool. I can move it around if I want. I'm gonna undo that. I can resize it if I want. Bring that down just a little bit. And if you look, the background is also a responsive design background. As I move that text, the background is gonna to move to fit it, so you don't have to resize that. And now with my selection tool, I can also double click, type something else in hit enter and you'll see that background automatically adjusted. I'm gonna grab my selection tool and as I said pretty much everything in here is customizable so I can go down here and I can bring the font down just a little bit and if I want to change the size of the background because that background is going to change a little bit as I scale that text I can grab the background here full screen this and then kind of reposition this just ever so slightly And there we go. The other cool thing is you can actually align these. So if I wanted to align it to the bottom, align it to the top, align vertically, align horizontally, all of these work. Now the way this is animated is I have the opacity animated here and I have the anchor point animated. So if you want to mess with any of the original animations, just simply go to the effect controls panel and you'll see the keyframes there and you can change those. And like I said before, you can also change the font. So I could go in here, quickly change the font, and there we go. Now we have this different font here. So again, totally customizable. Now when you go to export your video, it's really, really simple. The only thing you need to be aware of is you want to remember to turn off that overlay. And not only turn it off, because if I just turn it off here, you're going to notice that this particular clip extends out even further. So when I go to export, 
it could accidentally export this whole like duration here. So I recommend you just go ahead and delete that clip. Okay, now I'm gonna go to File, Export Media. Now this is very simple. First, make sure your format is set to H.264. And then under Preset, you'll see a little folder here that says Import Preset. Now you can click Import Preset, and now we can see our preset right here. Simply click on this, select Open, and you can rename it if you want. Select OK, and now you can see it's perfectly formatted. When I scroll over here, we can see our text perfectly spaced. So now I can go ahead and export this. And now our video is ready for Instagram Stories.